Good morning. Today is Monday, February 8th. In today's scripture reading, we begin from the book of Genesis, the first chapters of the Bible, the creation account. God created all good and for our good. The Bible tells us, and God saw that it was good. God has never stopped recreating us anew in His Spirit. Today, as it is a memorial feast, I want to take you to Africa to St. Josephine Bakita of Sudan. Josephine Bakita was born in 1869 in the Darfur region of Western Sudan. Slave traders kidnapped her when she was only nine and gave her the name Bakita, which means fortunate. Bakita, the blessing in disguise situation of her life as a slave, she states, saying, If I were to meet the slave traders who kidnapped me and even those who tortured me, I would kneel and kiss their hands, for if that did not happen, I would not be a Christian and religion, religious. Bakita found opportunity to go to Italy with her slave master, where, where she became free, and then she was baptized in 1890. After a few years, she joined Canossian Doctors of Charity in Italy, and she served for 50 years as a nun and a religious. And she was called by them, by all the people who saw her, our Black Mother. She died in 1947. She was canonized in 2000 by Pope St. John Paul II, who said at the day of her canonization, Rejoice all of Africa, Bakita has come back to you, the daughter of Sudan, sold into slavery as a living piece of merchandise, and yet still free, free from the freedom of the saints. The Gospel of, today's, of today reminds us that Jesus healed all the sick who were brought to him. For the Gospel of today tells us they begged him that they might touch even the fringe of his cloth, and all who touched it were healed. The healing love of Jesus went out powerfully to heal all the sick in mind and body. Almost after a year, we are still in hold and lockdown by the COVID-19 COVID and worse again by the new variant of it. Our world needs a healing touch of Christ's healing, yet we need to call him to touch and heal us from all of our physical and spiritual ailments. In line with the Gospel's message, Jesus healing all kinds of sickness, and the life story of St. Josephine Paquita's enslavement, may we be free in mind and heart from every evil that make us slaves of sin and all kinds of hatred against our brothers and sisters we meet every day. Let's open ourselves to his healing power, inviting him to our lives so that his healing power may touch us and touch those whom we ask in prayer. Father Moussier.